Number 76. Be kind to yourself. Good evening, family and friends. For today's devotional, I would like to talk about something I say at the end of each devotional. Be kind to yourself. In our quest for self-improvement and discipleship, we often extend compassion and understanding to others, yet we sometimes forget to offer the same gentleness to ourselves. Elder Dieter F. Uchtdorf once counseled, Be kind to yourself, and then let your kindness flood the world. This is a wonderful reminder that our journey to love and serve those around us begins in our own hearts. Exercise self-compassion. As we read in Matthew 22, 39, we are commanded to love our neighbors as ourselves. It is difficult to have a quality love for our neighbor if we don't have a quality love for ourselves. Learning to accept yourself unconditionally is akin to cultivating a garden. It requires patience, nurturing, and a gentle hand. Cease the harsh inner dialogue. Remember the counsel in Philippians 4.8. Whatsoever things are true, honest, just, pure, lovely, and of good report, think on these things. Focus on the fruits of your divine nature and eternal worth. Celebrate your strengths and virtues. In the Book of Mormon, we find Alma counseling his son Helaman, Counsel with the Lord in all thy doings, and he will direct thee for good. Alma 37.37 In your daily communion with the Father, thank him for the gifts he has given you, and seek his guidance in using them to further his work. Live in the present and do not be bound by past regrets or future anxieties. In Doctrine and Covenants 98.1, we're told, Be patient in afflictions, for thou shalt have many, but endure them, for lo, I am with thee, even unto the end of thy days. Our loving Heavenly Father wants us to find joy and learning in our current circumstances, not to be held captive by what was or might be. Humbly and gratefully, loving yourself is not selfish, but rather a recognition of your divine right to progress and be happy. The Savior himself taught, the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister and to give his life as a ransom for many. Matthew 20.28 In serving others, Christ also took time to commune with his Father, to reflect, to be alone, to rejuvenate, we too must also find this kind of balance. Rejoice in your victories, no matter how small. Each step towards kindness to oneself is a step towards deeper conversion, stronger discipleship, and an increasing charity for others. And finally, take time for self-care daily. This may be as simple as a small break, a moment of gratitude, a walk in nature, or an act of service. By doing so, you not only affirm your self-worth, but also your Father in Heaven's love for you. I leave these thoughts with you in the sacred name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Be kind to one another. Be kind to yourself. Don't believe everything you think. Good night.